Humans are competitive. <laughs> we want to be the better cat. We want to be better than that Tonkinese that is right next to us going, I can make a better cat. My name is Debbie Allgaier. I bred this kitten. I chose the mommy and daddy. Now my first hat won a regional win. I almost cried. My name is Nancy Makita. I'm retired. My hobbies basically were showing cats. This is a champagne mink. You'll notice she has aqua eyes. In the proper lighting, it takes your breath away. We're Americans. We want big houses, big trucks, and big cats. My name's Renee. I'm Tom. And this is Fred. A oh, Maine Coon is a working cat. It was meant to rid farms of varmint. They're strong. They're a big bone, muscular cat. We have two daughters and we had female Bevins. He was the only guy in the house. I was the, the only guy in the time. house. And I said, if you want to get another cat, you know, I want a big cat. She started looking into the Maine Coons and I said, oh yeah, that's the kind of cat I want. I always wanted a Siamese cat. So I contacted a breeder from Wisconsin. Lo and behold, Mia was born December 10th, 2001. Fast forward about 10 years, I happened to meet somebody named Nancy Makita. Got my first Ankenese from her. Min Kitty Sir Oliver Persilat of all these. He was my first regional winner. When I bought this house, I thought, you know what, I need a dog. But dog didn't fit in my lifestyle. And I thought, well, okay, I'll get a substitute, I'll get a cat. I fell in love with this look. I mean, look at her. Come on. Back when I started in the early 90s, the show cages were all decorated. People with the Persian cats would all have ruffles and, and umbrellas. People would wear chiffon dresses. It was more spectacular. Cat show people are determined. We want to be the best cat that we can be. What is your goal? Do you want to grand a cat or do you want a regional win or a natural win? All of those are different goals. They cost time, money, and effort. They work really hard for the, uh, to meet the standard to the perfection that it has to be. Gene Darrow, who's a judge, goes all the time, he goes, golly, man, you know, you guys have some of the best Maine Coons in the world right here, and you guys are beating the snot out of each other. Being a ribbon hog is kind of fun. You go to a show and you have a good cat, and you know you do, and they call you ribbon hogs, you know, and they go, oh, you're being a ribbon hog, ha ha, and then everybody laughs. And, but it's, you know, you feel very pr proud of your cat.
they just reach in, dig their little claws in your heart. You're their friend, you're their mommy. They're our babies. They're family. I had my heart cat pass away. It, it, it really hurt a lot. Mia would chatter at me. I'd say, Mia, you know you're not supposed to go there. Oh, you can back talk all you want, honey buns, but you're still not supposed to be there. It was like she was a child, but a cat at the same time. And when she passed, a little bit of me passed too. When one like unexpectedly dies, I feel really bad about it. I get tin cans and I put them in tins. And I'm thinking, you know, when I die, I'm gonna have all those tin cans. I want them in my casket. But I know my friends are gonna be there going, one, two, three, five. So I knew she had more than five, you know, <laughs> she's gonna be. So I thought, well, maybe I'll just scatter myself all over with the, my cats. I wish I could have had a child or a grandchild to pass on what cat showing meant to me. We need the young people to realize how much fun this can be. There's so many people and the only thing they have is a companion, is an animal. I live alone, so they make good company. We're, as a society, a lonely people, I think. Having kids is, it's so much stress because you want them to be perfect and they're not gonna be, you know? They're not gonna be. My cats are all perfect. That's why I love them as children. <laughs> Meow, 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 meow.